，但是我是真的爱你啊。Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what you have seen from me before, but I hope you will like it anyway. Basically, this video idea came up a few weeks ago when I was in Hainan. I met this amazing British girl who is fully immersing herself into Chinese culture and language by being in a small city, working full time in Chinese, having a Chinese boyfriend and a Chinese roomie. When I talked to her, we talked about her roomie because her Rumi and her boyfriend is like very public on my friend's uh, WeChat, uh, WeChat moments. So after talking about this uh, boyfriend couple situation, we came up with this idea <clears throat> of doing a video about uh, nine things that Chinese couples they do. But just a little reminder, guys. I'm not saying every single couple in China is like this. This is just overall what we have seen and experienced. I both talked with Chinese and foreigners afterwards when before making this video. I'm just giving a shout out to my two amazing friends who are participating in this video. It was really really cool. So thank you very much to them. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> <笑>你不同意好吧你帮我带他好吧那我们去连接分站吧亲爱的我是真的爱你但是第一你不能喝酒第二你不能跟其他男生聊天第三夏天到了你裙子绝对不能太短记住了吗 哦，那你我也有要求，你不能抽烟，不能跟别的女生走太近，聊天微信都不行，不能说早安晚安，然后呢，每天必须对我说三遍我爱你，我爱你，我爱你，我爱你，好。哎，太不好意思，我迟到了
啊，对对对，啊，哎，福秀，你可以啊，看那个哈、啊、，OK， 好了吗 ？OK， 他就行。我看你知道 OK， 好，开始吧。太好了。东西方这种文化差异这个东西，其实就是经常会自己去了解一下，就其实挺有意思。你会发现，就是我们刚刚说的那东西，就是在我们看来哈，如果我们我们去演我们的剧的话，不可能这么这么这么去对话的。而且这个 Lina 这个片主要是为了就是。夸张化这种矛盾嘛